Hello, uh, very good morning. Assalamualaikum. Uh, this morning we will discuss uh, uh, transport modeling, which is usually used for uh, uh, estimating or forecasting the future transport demand, so we can plan uh, for future uh, transport facilities. Uh, usually, people use this one uh, for step transport model, uh, trip generation, trip distribution, modal split, and trip assignment. Uh, because it is uh, easily understood uh, and then <coughs> uh, if anything goes wrong you can check uh, the problem of, of course we can see a few other type of modeling in the uh, literature uh, but that one quite difficult uh, and uh, not proven yet hmm? basically uh, in trip, gen trip, trip generation we have trip production and attraction we want to estimate the number of trip produced one for one area and uh, the number of trip attracted to another areas. So usually for example, uh, housing estate in the morning will produce trip whereas the office uh, area or commercial area will attract traffic in the morning. And for trip distribution, we want to distribute uh, trip uh, from, from one origin to all destination available. In modal split, we want to estimate or we want to forecast what is the mode of transport these people use, uh, maybe by bus or LRT or car or motorcycle. And the last one, we want to assign uh, the trip into a few into the uh, uh, transport facilities network, uh, roads, uh, railway line or LRT line or bar bus uh, rapid transit line. So we want so we can know. Uh, the number of passenger or or the traffic volume in the road network. Basically, uh, in trip generation, we have we can divide uh, the trip into home based and non home based trip. Usually, home based trip occur in the morning or in the afternoon, whereas non home based trip usually have uh, happen before uh, during the off peak hours. So, for example, for uh, in the city more than 80% of the trip is actually uh, is home based trip yeah, because it's usually occur in the morning or in the afternoon peak uh, peak hours hmm. uh, in detail you can see this one for Kuala Lumpur 87 uh, actually to go to work uh, the rest is uh, private uh, or business uh, trip or school trip hmm. and this picture I took uh, in Geneva uh, you can see uh, uh, in this is 2004 uh, congestion in the morning uh, in Geneva uh, of course not as bad as Kuala Lumpur uh, because you can see uh, uh, the density of the buildings uh, in Geneva is not as high as uh, uh, Kuala Lumpur and the uh, public transport is much better than Kuala Lumpur uh, basically in trip generation for trip production uh, it is based on socio-economic characteristics such as household income household size, car ownership, number of working person in the household Whereas the attraction uh, based on land use uh, characteristic. Uh, this is example of trip generation model. Uh, we in this case uh, this is a linear regression model, uh, which is based on the floor area of office space, shopping space, and manufacturing. For low density areas such as this picture on the right, uh, the trip uh, attraction is less than this uh, high density uh, development because the floor area is much less compared to this high density development for the same area of uh, for the same uh, uh, land land area hmm. in uh, the reg regression analysis uh, we usually we usually draw uh, the uh, line that minimize error uh, between the uh, the point plotted observed point uh, with the line so we call it the best fit line uh, so we can use uh, microsoft excel or SPSS or any statistical program to draw this line and to calculate the uh, model. Usually, uh, in the model, in the modeling process, we'll look into R squared or we call it correlation. So one that means the uh, maximum correlation between the two variables, the independent and dependent variables, and zero mean no correlation. And this statistic, actually, we want to see the uh, significance of the uh, parameters because you can see this one this is the uh, definition of the statistic uh, regression with the standard error so if the standard error quite high 
that mean T become very low so it is not significant we can take out from the model and during the modeling, modeling process we can see this uh, uh, relationship between parameters if it is not straight uh, we can linearize and we can make a straight line by transforming by using this logarithm, logarithmic transformation so we can analyze this one using the linear regression we will we will uh, discuss uh, this one later yeah. uh, and then the uh, correlation matrix uh, we have to, to produce uh, but this one can be automatically produced by X SPSS or, or uh, uh, Microsoft Excel uh, from here you can see this is production this is the uh, dependent variable this one is independent variable uh, production is dependent to number of workers, number of houses, household income, and car ownership. Uh, you can see here the household income with the car ownership. This is both uh, uh, independent variable, but the correlation is very high. So we can take out one one of it. And production, actually a uh, very good correlation with all this one, except with the number of workers, 0 0.409. So we can take out from uh, 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 the model. And uh, uh, we have to look into the sign convention. For example, the, m the more houses in the uh, zone, the more uh, production. But if the sign is negative, that means it's illogic. So we can, we can ignore that model. And the intercept is too high, supposed to be zero. If too high, we have to look into the model again. And of course, the regression parameters, we look into the statistic. Uh, this is an example uh, of data collected for uh, a number of zones in the study area. In a study area, for example, zone number two, car ownership, average car ownership 1.2 per household, household income is 4,300, and number of houses in that zone about 2,500, and number of workers 358, and the daily production is 7,400. Uh, this is a little bit silly to the European because the number of workers very small to the houses uh, but this is uh, 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 common in ASEAN uh, cities yeah? and then when we generate this uh, uh, correlation matrix you can see again here and the household income with the car ownership is very highly correlated so we can take out one and this number of workers is quite low so we can take out this one so now we have only uh, uh, two uh, uh, parameters, independent uh, independent parameters. Uh, you can see this one, the intercept, the t statistic is very low. So that means the error is quite high, so we can take out from the model. So now uh, we put zero. Uh, so the final product of the model is this one. So this uh, 2.685 household, the number of household in that zone and 1.53797 car ownership yeah. uh, and another example of uh, trip generation is using category analysis so we categorize all the land use for example this one Ling House, Ling House and Meditas House apartment and low cost house so you can see Ling House produce 1.26 in average in the morning and Semiditas is one point. 1.46 uh, trips per hour. Uh, this one is really from Ministry of Public Work Department. Okay, uh, we stop here for a few minutes. We will continue uh, later. Uh, thank you very much.